starving. <laughs> I know. I just heard you gained another million. <laughs> throw, throw me a bowl. Throw me a couple of men. But five probably have to. No, not probably. We're probably shouldn't even come out of my vocabulary. That might be close to double after tonight. Because you can't do nothing but gain fans and not lose fans. Because even your haters got to respect it because they're going to want to see the opposite and more and hopefully they would be able to celebrate but that's how you make not only a living but a legacy off of those in that type of mindset that once you believe that everybody out there is rooting for you you become comfortable you become complacent you become automatic everybody got certain things to push them even when they reach a level of success. He is at an age, Brian is right now, at an age where most people will say, well, man, is he going to go to his head? Is he going to do this? He talks this way. He's that way. But trust me, he has an old soul. And I guarantee you, he will be in the gym sooner than we believe, think that he will not be. And he will go and work on those those, those things he knew he couldn't get in that minute and a half. What was it, two minutes? Minute well, 40. One, two, so, one so, minute. so, the mindset that I've seen in his coach and everybody, he going to find something he could have did in that minute and a half that he didn't do. What do you think he could have done? Knocked him out sooner. Knocked him out sooner. I just got to assess it and see what they're working on. But like I said, like, I know who's going to have to work on because I'm in the gym and I smart like So I already know, like, when push comes to shove, I know that I've been in the gym, I've smart kid rounds, I know in certain situations things I need to work on. So this fight, just didn't get there. Fonseca obviously didn't, didn't handle what I, what I had coming from him. But I know the things I got to work on. And I'm going to keep working on it until I perfect it so nice. And even if I think I perfect it, I'm going to be like, oh, I got to keep pushing the edge. That's it. I want, I want to get this all done. And you know what? Tonight, right? 10,000. 310 people. On a Friday, hold up, hold up. On a Friday. Friday. Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine. On a Valentine's Day, hold up. Not only Friday, but a Valentine's Day Friday. <laughs> With traffic <laughs> everywhere. A Valentine's Day Friday, right? That means you had to convince her <laughs> or whoever, <laughs> yes, sir. your other to come to a fight on Valentine's Day. That's some skill. <laughs> or, 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 you, or do you know this is going to be a good fight? Or you just got a good rap game? Because Valentine's and also on a Friday. Friday? Day. And people in LA. Me, people, like, people like, I get off of work at 4. Do you think I'll make my fight? I was writing every minute back. I'm probably going to go on around 9. Don't worry. Come through. Because <laughs> I know how hard it is. It's, it, people yeah. like people forget. People got real jobs. Like, this shit was hard to get off yeah. of work. Like, yeah. Some real shit. You got to pay the bill. Yeah, got to pay the bill. 10,000 so, people. So 10,000 people to come out. But, but for one big okay, name. Yeah. It wasn't two big names. It was no, one big one. name. That's well, it. They, made, they came to see the main event. That's it. They came to see Bottom line. That's it. Ryan so Ryan, what's the good? How cold were you? You went over to from Sakai. Oh no, he was out cold. I was, I, I was terrified him though, because I don't want to hurt. I don't want to put nobody you know, in the hospital for That's exciting month, or even worse. You know, I just want. I just want to do this for the love of the game. You know, you get knocked out, coach, just get up and get back to grinding. You know, so it's all it's all for the love of boxing. So you know, I ain't trying to kill nobody. That's that's why I'm just trying to do my stuff and, and they're okay and they can go back to their families and that's all. That's all I want. Cause I would want that for myself. You know? After after you went over and, and checked on him, then Devin Haney came to your interview <laughs> and then. All that happened. I mean, he wasn't too happy that you put him down on that list of like after United and Campbell. What do you what do you what do you say back to him? Uh, I don't know. Like that's just what I, I'm. I'm on my own lane. <laughs> like he he has a lot of catching up to do. I know he's a champ, but I told him to expect. Like, if you're a champ, I'm a champ. Because you ain't did nothing to make me think you're a champion. You're gonna have to prove it to me. Like I'm about to prove everybody else. You gotta get into the grind mode like me. I want him to be great. I want him to be a fuck. Cause he was great in amateur, just like me. So it's like, who's gonna really put in that sacrifice? I, I want him to. That's why I want him to reach. 
some greatness. I want him to come out with, because he didn't have a good performance last fight. I want him to come back and have a great one. Because I want to do, fight someone just as great as me, just with the mindset. So I can test myself. Like, fuck, this ain't going my way, but I'm going to figure some shit out. Like, and, even, and, even in, and even in that performance that he had his last fight, if he was really thinking, and again, this is, again, young man with an old soul is saying, look, I'm going to see you at the end, but let me clear this up, and then I'll see you at the end. To me, that's like, wait a minute. You want to clear out everybody and just letting him know that, look, I, I get you, I'll save you for last. Because we got a little amateur history or whatever, right? Because that's what he meant. I didn't ever know that, but now I did. That, to me, is a buildup. You continue to do what you got to do. Definitely, hopefully, you look better than you looked at last fight, right? Because you can get a knockout in 10 seconds, right? Maybe we have, oh, right, 100, a minute and 40. You know, play that type of game, but a serious game. That, to me, is not only doing our job, making it easier. <laughs> Go figure, right? Come together, and now you have what? You have something that talked about that boxing in that weight division haven't been talked about in a while. And that, we need that in every vi di division as far as I'm concerned. But we're talking about Ryan's division, we're talking about his night tonight. I'm proud of him. My team, Golden Boy, every, all our team is proud of him. Tonight was a statement as far as I'm concerned. And even when I go back to these East Coast Sunday, they waiting on me. It was a statement. This was a statement. And and and, and you know what's crazy? It is what it he is. put himself on the limb. He said I would I would beat all these guys, and they would tell him, "Oh, but are you crazy with this that?" That's why I respect him because he really seen my vision. To Eric, to all of us, he, man. He, he really he's, seen he's my. Deal, deal. He's always believed in me because he knows that I got that. In me. You got this. <laughs> Even if I'm not looking that good, I'm gonna get that good. It's the work ethic stuff. See, I know y'all probably thinking, oh, to knock out this, that is easy. It's convenient to see this stuff down. But yeah, all right, I ain't downplaying that. That is what it is. Either you have it or you don't. I've been told that a couple of times. But I wasn't bothered with something I was throwing some weight lifting. But look, I, yo, his ethics of work. Because anybody that know me and follow me, no, I always made weight. I always made a shit. But I see something that I had, and I have to the day, is to be disciplined, right? Is to, to, to always push yourself. The work ethics on top of growing at a, at a six, at that time, 18, 19, 20, and he's growing and he's listening and he wants to listen to the fighters from the past, the present, and in the middle, and then be humble enough to say, I'm going to take this ingredient, I'm making this recipe, and this recipe is a legend, is, 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 is one of the great Ryan Garcia one day, so that means I got to take a spice of this, a recipe of that, and a recipe of that recipe. They say, no, everybody, y'all y'all understand, it's like in the kitchen, y'all smell aroma, yes, what's that? And they say, no, it, it smells good. And you're looking at the finished product. And that's what I see, that a young man coming asking questions, where he could be like, I'm, this is my time right now, you owe you out, you know, that type of mantra attitude. And I'm not saying that's wrong, some people have it, some people don't. But he seemed to get it from Oscar, get it from me, other people. That's not even undergoing the war, like I'm pretty, he got friends too. And he sucks all this up, and that's the part that I seen beyond the talent. I say, yo, and then having 606 million. Um, <laughs> I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't, like, doesn't do you bad, buddy. That doesn't do you bad at all. How do you think, what do you see in this future? The future is his. I'm not uh, a psychic. I'm not, uh, I have a crystal ball. But from my experience in the game for three decades, it's how far Ryan wants to go. It's his destiny. It's going, it's going to be some... <laughs> struggles, it's going to be some adversity, it's going to be all the things that make you a man and also make you responsible and make you one of the greats. That is earned, not given. So I see in Ryan Garcia, not peaches and cream, I see to be an all around pound for pound champion, he's going to have to deal with all adversity, even in victory. He's going to have to deal, to deal with haters, he's going to have to deal with other personal people that, that he thought was like his guys, his friends, that all of a sudden now they want things. Like these, all these things might not 
to y'all feel like it has nothing to do with boxing? Yes, because it works on the mental. So that complete fighter, where he got to be selfish to, right now for himself and what he wants to do for everybody else once it clears up and he gets to the point where now he can take that little Wait. that little deep breath we got 10 minutes 10 minutes relaxation and chill but the sky's the limit he writes his own destiny that's the most real shit you can say he writes, he writes his own destiny there ain't no future there ain't no though you could you predict yeah. some shit nah it's up yeah, to you can person. say you can have opinion you can have opinion thanks you got your opinion but I'm gonna prove that your opinion ain't right for me. You can't, you can't write my destiny and write my, write my. Future. You can't tell me who I can't be. Yeah. <laughs> you can't tell me I ain't ready for this guy because I'm gonna get ready. Well, I, all eyes are on you tonight. Leonard Ellaby tweeted out, "Okay, Ryan, I see you. We see you. They all see you. They all see you. Did Canelo see you? Have you heard from him? Uh, if I check my phone, email? I'm pretty sure he wrote me. You know, well, Canelo, Canelo is my boy. You know, he, I'm pretty sure he watched it. Yeah, yeah, 100. You know, because me and Canelo were talking before the fight. You know, so he was, he was just telling me, you know, I love you, do your thing. You know, um, we train in the gym every day. You, you create a bond that's different. You know, when you're at the gym and you just run and you see you know, those little things they're going. Through. So you kind of create a strong bond, you know, so it's like me and Canelo. I mean, we ain't chilling every day But we have that respect for each other. He knows that I want to become great. He sees it in me and he I, I honestly truly believe he's proud of me today. You ready? All right, yeah, we're ready. Come on. Thank you, everybody. Let's go. Good job. Good job. You got to change. You got to go to the place to turn us out of your region. Let's go. Everybody. Great job, Brian. Congrats, Brian. I'm going to change it. Ryan. Ryan, too? Turn that on the right. Nah, bro. You can look at it. Hold it. Hold it. The chance. Oh, yeah. My man. I'm seeing this picture. Yeah, sure. oh, so it's <laughs> the camera. Okay, yeah. Just two questions, whatever you okay, uh, Thank up. you, my friend. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. He's busy right now. He's busy right now. <laughs> <laughs>